A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 18 verses 21 to 35. Passage taken from the message version of the Bible. At that point, Peter got up the nerve to ask, "Master, how many times do I forgive a brother or sister who hurts me? Seven?" Jesus replied, "Seven? Hardly. Try 70 times 7." The kingdom of God is like a king who decided to square accounts with his servants. As he got under way, one servant was brought before him who had run up a debt of a hundred thousand dollars. He couldn't pay up, so the king ordered the man, along with his wife, children, and goods, to be auctioned off at the slave market. The poor wretch threw himself at the king's feet. and begged give me a chance and i will pay it all back touched by his plea the king let him off erasing the debt the servant was no sooner out of the room when he came upon one of his fellow servants who owed him 10 dollars he seized him by the throat and demanded pay up now the poor wretch threw himself down and begged give me a chance and i will pay it all back but he wouldn't do it he had him arrested and put in jail until the debt was paid when the other servants saw this going on they were outraged and brought a detailed report to the king the king summoned the man and said you evil servant i forgave your entire debt when you begged me for mercy Shouldn't you be compelled to be merciful to your fellow servant who asked for mercy? The king was furious and put the screws to the man until he paid back his entire debt. And that's exactly what my father in heaven is going to do to each one of you who doesn't forgive unconditionally anyone who asks for mercy. The gospel of the Lord Reflections on the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 18 verses 21 to 35 When we are offended our spontaneous reaction is not to forgiveness but resentment or anger especially when the damage has left deep wounds that do not disappear over time Some of those wounds sometimes last a lifetime In these cases the natural reaction is to pay back to avenge the pain that has been caused this primitive instinct is what in history caused duels and endless struggles between peoples forgiveness does not come spontaneous we ask the father to forgive our debts in prayer the sins that we have committed do not represent all our debt sins relate to the past and they are not infinite They are only a small sign of the immense distance that separates us from the love of the Father. Our prayer, forgive us our debts, is not just about past mistakes, but it is directed especially to the future. We grow in debt when we receive something from someone and that person expects us to return it to him in due time. What does God expect from us? his very own compassion what god grants us in abundance is his love and compassion he wants us to return it to or share it with our brother or sister without hesitation he wants that we do not keep the brother or sister a slave of his past it is his desire that we do not take his breath away while he desperately tries to rise up from the chasm God asks us to help him 70 times 7 without excuses. The children of the kingdom of God are merciful as the heavenly father. If we are willing to accept this new logic, we will be willing to lose, to forget all our own rights just to see our brother happy again, peaceful and freed from his sin. 
the last scene of the parable gives us shudders. The conclusion is puzzling. It says, so will my heavenly father do with you unless you sincerely forgive your brothers and sisters. Does the Lord repay therefore with the same coin those who are ruthless with their debtors? Such an interpretation would contradict the whole message of the parable that wishes to present a God who always forgives human transgressions. It would be a blasphemous interpretation to consider it as a description of the behavior of the Father who is infinite love and mercy. The evangelist is not describing what God would do in the end, but the parable presents what God wants us to do today.